Michael Toth. Uh, this is for you. You brought up some Enoch Light, and uh, I love how uh, Space Age Bachelor Pad Lounge Pop Exotica from the 1950s got repurposed in Japan to be used as what was thought to be a more appropriate uh, album cover. This was Little Deuce Coop that originally featured a Deuce Coop. <laughs> as the level. Now we have little particles, I believe, were from Persuasive Percussion, one of the Enoch Light uh, compilations. And uh, this was uh, Haishan Records. You want to see the vinyl. They definitely uh, skimped out on the cover stock. But the vinyl is a nice little amber, little deuce coupe. D-E-U B-C-E before always and uh, decided to uh, or use the V differently or whatever. So there's that. An uh, example of the beauty of Command Records uh, and then later Project 3 graphic design. Uh, Enoch Vite was one of the first to ever use gatefolds and write the most extensive liner notes and actually give a rip about cohesive design for a band label, which would be further, the cohesiveness of these uh, band labels would be imitated by maybe Factory Records, had a very cohesive design ethos for their stuff. Um, Sarah Records, and then even the Elephant Records would just unify um, how their records are designed. And this is one of the reasons I like vinyl, is it gives space to tell the story. Um, but, uh, Michael Toth, I wanted to show you something that I just discovered. Hold on. Check it out. I never knew this, but Enoch Light, uh, Project 3 also had 8-track releases. So this is Tony Matola in strings on a track featuring the Candyman, uh, Amazing Grace, juxtaposed with Nature Boy and uh, the love theme from The Godfather. So uh, it's interesting. Uh, I never knew that Enoch Light uh, did this. So maybe you know more about that. So we've got Enoch Light on a track, Enoch Light uh, designing Beach Boys covers. And uh, hopefully we can all have Enoch light in our hearts.